Look at this. Orange chicken, y'all. Dinner is ready. Ooh, I made this dark. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. What's up, everybody? We alive, yet another day above soil. I got a craft show tomorrow, and I'm about to pack the car up in about a few minutes. But I was just thinking, what do I want for dinner? What does everybody else, the LDX family, want for dinner? So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna teach the LDX family in the world how I make orange chicken. I don't mind Chinese takeout. I don't mind it. But I notice a trend with some things. Usually when I go to a Chinese restaurant and I order orange chicken, they actually have the peel, the legit peel in the sauce. And sometimes when I bite down into the peel, it's kind of bitter. Well, what if I told you I found a better way to cook orange chicken. And I'm going to show each and every one of y'all how I make it. So instead of the paint brushes, instead of the plarn, the paper, the paper bags, the plastic bags, instead of all that, you're gonna need a spatula. And you're gonna need a kitchen because we about to burn. We're gonna start off with listing the ingredients that you're gonna be making your orange chicken with. You're gonna need two boneless, skinless chicken breast. You're gonna need a thumb worth of ginger. And I got a big thumb. Enough to have at least a teaspoon of grated ginger. You'll need some minced garlic. You'll need dark brown sugar. I love me some domino sugar. You're gonna need rice vinegar, vegetable oil, pepper. You're gonna need one egg for egg whites, cornstarch, sea salt, crushed red pepper. You're gonna need orange blossom honey. If you don't have orange blossom honey, you can go ahead and use regular honey. I just like orange blossom honey because it just ties everything well with orange chicken. It makes sense. You're gonna need some soy sauce. You'll need one orange and a lemon. A head of broccoli. That's all the ingredients that you're gonna need. Oh, by the way, you're also gonna need some jasmine rice. You could use basmati rice, you could use Uncle Ben's rice, but for the purposes of this dish, I like jasmine rice. We're gonna start off by zesting our fruit. First thing you're gonna need is do is zest your orange. And with your orange, you don't need to just dig into your microplane, just a little bit of a dusting. One, two, and then move on. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, and you don't need to dig in there. All you need to do is let it glide over your microplane. Because if you dig, then that's how it's gonna taste too bitter. I made that mistake the first few times I made orange chicken. I was like, it was good, but it had a little bit of a bitter note to it. That's because I was really getting in there. Anyway, you're probably going to need about a tablespoon of this orange zest. In addition to your orange, you're also going to need ginger. 
So usually with ginger, this is what I do with the skin. You're gonna take yourself a metal spoon and go do this to the skin. It's up to you if you want to leave the skin on or off. I take it off for aesthetic reasons. All right. You're gonna need a little bit more than a teaspoon of ginger. Using the same microplane that you use the orange, I'm gonna use this ginger. I'm just gonna grind it up. You're also gonna need four teaspoons or four cloves of garlic. In addition to that, you're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. half cup of brown sugar. And you're gonna pack it in there. Half cup of brown sugar packed in. These are all the spices you're gonna need. You've got your ginger, garlic, red pepper flakes, orange zest, and brown sugar. That's gonna go in the liquefied sauce in just a few minutes. Now, for your juice ingredients. Cut your orange in half, or actually, I would say in quarters. Get your smaller half. You're gonna need two tablespoons of orange juice, fresh orange juice right here. Can't get no fresher than that. And I, when it comes to orange chicken, I want to use the orange juice fresh, not from a crate or, cur um, or carton. It's the, the difference is so vast. Now, if you're going to cook in mass qualities, you're probably going to end up using orange juice from a jug. Yeah, that's all good, but I'm just cooking for myself today. So that's one tablespoon, just about. Here's two tablespoons. You're also going to need a tablespoon of lemon. Cut your lemon in half. A lemon juicer. Yep, here it is. Whoop, there it is. There we go. No trouble getting that lemon juice. Ooh, I can smell it already. Ain't that some? It's one tablespoon of lemon juice. You're also going to need three tablespoons of soy sauce. tablespoon soy sauce and then you're gonna need three quarters of a cup of rice vinegar to come back to this sauce in just a few moments so while we wait for a few minutes we're gonna cut this broccoli out and just get all these florets probably gonna cook half of this because I'm not gonna eat this whole head of broccoli in one day. I mean I could, but realistically I'm gonna save the rest for later so I'm gonna cook it fresh when I'm ready. And this is a good old head of broccoli. This is the part where I'm gonna start multitasking. It's gonna take a while, for, it's gonna take about 15-20 minutes for this rice to cook. So you're gonna need half a cup of rice and I've actually learned this trick from somebody I worked with. 
you got to soak the rice before you cook it. Some people don't soak the rice, and it's actually it tastes a lot cleaner if you soak it before you clean it. Who knew? Put this in the saucepan, half cup of rice, full cup of water. If you put a full cup of rice in the pot, you're going to need two cups of rice. But just so that y'all know, all rices are not created equal. So if you've got basmati rice, and you put a cup of basmati rice in your pot, you're going to need a cup and a half of water. Basmati rice is a little bit more delicate than jasmine. With your rice, we're going to put it, mm, put it on low to medium. If you have a three on your knob, that would be the perfect setting. And you're just going to let that go. And you go put the top on your rice. So that way it traps the steam in. I've already diced up the chicken. So per to prepare your orange chicken, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need egg, one egg with your white. No yolk, no shells, please. You're gonna need the egg white. So you can separate the white from the egg yolk. Use the rest of this lemon. Get my chicken all wet. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We're going to use probably what? A tablespoon of salt. Half teaspoon of black pepper. Using your God-given hands, mix it in just like this. Just like this. So while you got that chicken resting in your lemon egg white mixture, you're gonna put about a cup of cornstarch in the chicken like this. And you're probably, uh, I, I eyeballed this. It's very rare that you're gonna see me eyeball something. But let me tell you what, it's a science to it. So if you find that your chicken, if your chicken is too dry, then you're gonna need a little bit of water. If your chicken is too wet, you'll need more cornstarch. And judging by the looks of this consistency, I got it right on the nose. This is perfect. It should look a little something like this. Now's the part where we're gonna start to heat our oil. So I'm gonna use vegetable oil. You can use canola oil, you can use peanut oil. You just need an oil that has this gooey heat. I do not recommend avocado oil, and I don't recommend olive oil when you fry chicken. Vegetable oil, canola oil, or peanut oil is best when you fry a chicken. We're going to put this close to high, very close to high. And we're going to make sure that this oil is going to be at 350 degrees so that we can fry our chicken. It's time to start the orange chicken sauce. So you remember all the liquid ingredients that I put together? Yeah, we're gonna put this in a medium saucepan right over here. We'll put this in the base of our sauce in the saucepan. And we're gonna let this get to a little bit of a simmer or a bowl. Don't let it over bowl. Let it simmer, simmer, but don't let it bowl. There's a happy medium and you're gonna to get to that happy medium. I double check this oil. It's definitely a 350. So you're not going to crowd your pot of oil because then it's not going to cook thoroughly. So you're going to put about 
what uh, the you're gonna put one breast worth of chicken in the hot oil. It's gonna get on in. And then we're gonna wait about four minutes for this batch of chicken. And then we're gonna put it on a plate with a paper towel. Oh, so I got the sauce down to a simmer and a boil. A spoil, I don't know, something like that. So now that my sauce is looking like it's simmering but not boiling, I'm gonna put the brown sugar, ginger, garlic, and red pepper flakes, and the orange zest in the sauce. Oh, we got some, still got the garlic in there. I'm gonna take my spoon and scoop it out, put it in there. And we're gonna let all them flavors just get in there, uh, you know, get acquainted with each other. They're gonna be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? So I'm gonna take my whisk. Oh, I got this big block of brown sugar before that gets all clumpy. Just incorporate it in the sauce. I'm gonna let that set and marry for about a few minutes. Oh, by the way, with this sauce, there is an option. You could have a quarter cup or half cup of green onion. Some people actually like that. I don't think it's that bad, but I didn't have any green onion, so there's no green onion in this. But some people are allergic to onion, so if you got somebody who's allergic to onion, you don't need it. Don't forget to toss that chicken around. Don't forget to toss it around because you don't want the bottom of it getting burnt. And I've got this between medium and high. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit more. This is how it's looking right now. All right. So, my first chicken breast is almost done. Well, sort of done. Ah, ooh, this is hot. Your chicken should be, look, look at this. Look, <laughs> it's all golden. It's gonna look like this and you're gonna put it on a paper towel on a plate. And then you're gonna drop the other half of chicken in. And remember to get them little bits of chicken that's just flipping on top. You don't want them to get all black. Our sauce is at a good cooking speed. So after about five or so minutes of your spices and the liquid ingredients cooking up, you're gonna put a slurry in there. I use a, tea, a, a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of cold water right into the sauce. And this is a thickening agent. So you're going to put that in there, medium high, and you're going to allow that to thicken. While you allow that to thicken, you're going to get your orange blossom honey. You're going to put, oh shoot, I forgot to take the sticker off the top of this. This is a brand new bottle. You're going to put a tablespoon or two tablespoons worth of orange blossom honey into the sauce. I'm just going to give that a good stir. Look at this beautiful rice. It's sticky. It's just a little bit firm and fluffy. This is perfect, y'all. Jasmine rice is ready to go. We're going to set this aside. That's the thickest y'all want. And after we got our desired thickness, we're just going to cut the stove off on the sauce. Although we've technically fried all of our pieces of chicken, I want it extra crispy. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to fry it again. <laughs> we're going to throw this in the fry again.
our broccoli is going to be pretty easy. So you're going to put some water in a saucepan on high. And then you're going to put about a tablespoon of salt in there. So you're going to wait for it to boil. While we wait for this water to boil, we're going to toss the chicken in with the sauce. You've got your cooked chicken right here. It's going to go into your separate bowl. Uh-huh. And then we're going to put the sauce on top of this chicken. This is going to be... I want to get this closer. It's going to look luxurious, y'all. Mm-hmm. gonna toss it around real good let it go for a spin and then we're going to call the orange chicken done all that we got to do is wait for our broccoli now that we got our water boiling we're going to put our broccoli into the bowl of water let it blanch one minute maximum we're going to cut the stove off and let it sit. Who would have thought I could burn in the kitchen? Let's plate our food. And throw some broccoli on there. Kids, remember to eat y'all's vegetables. It will not hurt if you eat your vegetables. I'm putting lots of broccoli on my plate. Y'all gonna eat your broccoli too. Don't forget it. And then comes the main course. Mm, mm, mm. Cry, complain. Look at this. Orange chicken, y'all. Dinner is ready. Ooh, I made this dark. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Dinner is served. So before we part ways and leave, I have a relatively important question to ask of you. If you went to sleep tonight, and you didn't wake up the next day, would you truly be satisfied with the life that you've lived? If your answer is no, then it's most definitely time to do some soul searching. Think about some of the changes that you need to make within your life. I say this because there's a lot of things within our society that discriminate. Death, however, doesn't discriminate. I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching my content. If this is your first, second, third, fourth, whatever time, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the LDX family. We are still on the road to 100 subscribers. And as always, I'm also going to put the links to my Etsy and Instagram. And in this situation, the ingredients for my recipe right within the description. I leave you all with much love, good spirits, and vibes. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. I'm out.